Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today with Wanamaker Entertainment Group, the official ticket partner of Comcast Sportsnet. And we've also got Chef Steve Kirchner of the Twisted Olive. Hello. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. So, what are we making? I see we've got all kinds of good stuff here. Oh, we have some nice fall items. We're going to do a Chilean sea bass that uh, accompany with a, a bit of a, an unusual effect of potato lioness, something different. Oh, I'm and, looking uh, forward to that. With a sauce of cabbage and onions and celery and nice fall items. And then uh, for an appetizer, we're going to do a nice fried butternut squash with uh, pickled Fresno chilies, sage infused honey, and a little Parmesan Reggiano. Sounds awesome. Now, I understand both of these recipes are going to be featured, as well as another one in the October issue of Lehigh Valley Style magazine. That's correct. Great. Yeah. Well, let's get started. Okay. Well, I think we should start with the potato first, since that takes the longest. This is a unique looking contraption you have over here. That is a Chiba S peel. What it does is it's a sheeter, and you can put dacon radish, potato, that sort of thing. Hard vegetables, not, mm -hmm. not like cucumber. You can't okay. do that. And you said this is going to be a take on a lionized potato? It is. It is. It has all the classic ingredients of a lionized, but it's not going to be sauteed in a pan with, with onions. All right. So, this is interesting. Sean, I want to get that centered. Go in there. You just want to kind of get it started. Okay. Ah, very cool. See how it's starting to round it? And yeah. once you get it rounded, then you can just go with it. Wow. You want to pull that out? Sure. I'm going to cut my fingers. It's almost like rolling sheets of pasta. Absolutely. Right. This is really cool. I've never seen this before. And is this something that you put on the menu over at the Twisted Olive? Well, uh, we do it as a special. So we're going to dry that off with our paper towels. All right. You want salt and pepper. Very important. Potatoes Very are important. super bland without. This is our roasted garlic puree. Oh, yum. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's good with garlic, right? Absolutely, especially when it's roasted. Mm. It's so nice and sweet. Absolutely. A little parsley for effect. We have the caramelized onions that we've just chopped. Straight mm -hmm. caramelization, sweet onion. Love caramelized onions. They make anything taste good. And they're great to have on hand. You can make a big batch of them and just keep them in the refrigerator and put them in all kinds of different things. Oh yeah. Just kind of roll them tight. Mm -hmm. I think we could probably get about two out of that. And what you're going to do is place it on the plastic wrap. Two pieces of plastic wrap. Why two? Uh, it's for the to hold the shape while it's cooking. It's going to we're going to poach this slow poach this in clarified butter. Oh. Now is the butter able to really infuse into that? With well, we poke holes in it. Oh, okay. All right. Man with a plan. Okay, get that knot. Squeeze it down. It's nice and tight. Oh, poached and clarified butter. This is going to be amazing. I already know. Mm. And we have a nice little knot, right? Mm -hmm. Do the other one. Check that out. Now what we're going to do after they get poached, you chill them and you slice it in a couple of discs, saute it to order and put it on with the fish. So it gets nice and crispy once you saute mm -hmm. it? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> now what we're going to do is turn that, uh, if you wouldn't mind, the clarified butter back you on. Got it on the very lowest setting. What you want to do is poach this at 190 degrees so okay. it's barely on. Right. Uh, really slow, low and slow. Low and slow and it's going to take an hour, an hour and a half. Oh, However, wow. the good news is you can do this the day before your party. Great tip. So 190 exactly. You just want to kind of check on it periodically as you go. You just right. You don't want to come back and find that you browned your butter. Yeah. Well, would that be so bad? No. <laughs> All right, I think everything's good. With go ahead and put that in there and get that rolling. Perfect. All right. Call now for these events and more at 215-568-2400 or shop 24-7 at wanatix.com. Wanamaker Entertainment Group. We are the guy. Call now for these events and more at 215-568-2400 or shop 24-7 at wanatix.com. Wanamaker Entertainment Group, we are the guy. Well, the next, I guess, we'll prepare the sauce. So this is going to be the sauce for the Chilean sea bass? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very much a fall item. Oh, yeah, big it's a time. a nice Savoy cabbage. Beautiful looking cabbage. Now, I understand you do a lot of gardening. Over we do, we do. We have two gardens. Uh, one is all herbs, the other is our vegetable garden. Mm -hmm. um, 
while it's not large enough to supply the entire restaurant every single day, it is large enough to supplement. Right. Um, uh, for instance, I'll supply the restaurant with all the mixed greens mm -hmm. throughout the season from uh, That's spring big. to That's fall. A lot. We do our own butternut squash. We grow all the herbs for the restaurant, which we use in our infused cocktails as well as our kitchen. Awesome. All right, so that's it. I don't think we need it. Got it. So infused cocktails, I guess you have a pretty nice bar over there then. We do. We also do barrel-aged cocktails. Really? Yeah, we Tell have me uh, more about that. We have oak barrels that you can buy. They have five liters, and they are oak with a medium char already on the inside. And what we'll do is we'll make classic cocktails anywhere from a Negroni to a Manhattan. Mm -hmm. We do, uh, we've done a peach bourbon. Customers love to hear that, you know, I picked the lettuce this morning and brought it into the kitchen. We've got Paul Conaway here, my good buddy. How are you, Paul? I'm great, how are you? Chairman and CEO of Wanamaker Entertainment Group. Thanks for joining us today. Good to be here. So tell me a little bit about Wanamaker Entertainment Group. Well, we're in Center City, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. um, in the Center Square building. We've been providing sports theater and concert tickets and much, much more since 1957. Awesome, so if I wanted to go to a concert anywhere in Philadelphia, you can get me tickets? Yes, absolutely. What if I wanted to go to a concert somewhere other than Philadelphia? We provide tickets everywhere, anywhere across the country. So if I wanted to get tickets to, let's say, Taylor Swift or Katy Perry or one of those really hard to get seats? Well, we're never sold out. But really what you want to do is place an advanced order. You know, when the tour goes on sale, if it's coming to your favorite city, you know, you would call us tell us how many tickets you want, mm -hmm. and put a pre-order in, and then when the concert actually goes on sale, we would call you, say your tickets are in, and it's done deal. Fantastic. So, so a lot of times, you know, when you sign online and you try to get those tickets, the second they go on sale, and then suddenly there's no tickets left. So this is a guarantee? Yes, absolutely. It's fantastic. Yeah. And I also understand that you've got a whole new project. Yes, it's called 2300 Arena. It's a fabulous new uh, project that we did. It's in South Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. We're very excited about it. We do professional boxing, MMA, wrestling, uh, concerts, comedy, and we also are going to be open a fabulous new restaurant there as well. Oh, I love fabulous new restaurants. Yeah. Well, I understand you're going to come back and taste with us in a little bit? Yes, I am. We've got some good stuff coming, so we'll see you then. Thank you. All right, what you have happening over here? All right, we're just getting our little vegetables ready to go. We're going to blanch them quickly in some salt water. Okay. And then we're, thank you. You're welcome. So we're going to blanch them in some salt water. Just to soften them a bit. Okay. And then we'll, we'll get started on the other. So we've got the cabbage and a little celery and carrot. That's it. Just some really basic goodness there. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be for the base of the sauce. That's correct. Okay. It's all part of the sauce, yeah. Kind of a little bit like bistro cooking, French bistro, you know, mm -hmm. where they kind of use everything that they have and mm -hmm. then top it off. Now, what is the main style over at the Twisted Olive? Well, you know what? We like to call ourselves a world bistro with a twist. Uh, you'll find Mediterranean influence. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, of course, the Mediterranean is a huge area. Sure is. Uh, we don't like to get tied down to one cuisine because it's not as fun. I agree. I feel the exact same way. Right. So you always you, dabble in a little bit of everything. You'll find that we do smoking, we, we, you know, we do all of that sort of stuff, and we have some eclectic appetizers. We do anything from French onion soup dumplings to our butternut squash fried. Oh, I love French onion soup dumplings. Yeah, yeah, so. It looks like our water's boiling, so let's It blanch. sure does. We're going to start with the harder vegetable first. Okay. And we're only going to do this for a few seconds? Yep. A little bit of salt in there. All we're gonna do is drop this in for five seconds. Ready to drain. So, we just wanna sear our sea bass. Nice looking piece of fish there. Mm. Do a yeah. lot of seafood over at the restaurant? We do, we do, we do a fair amount. Anything from uh, potato crusted scallops with uh, saffron aioli. Do a Mediterranean tuna with the tomatoes and capers and olives and olive oil. All right. So this recipe can be found in the October edition of Lehigh Valley Style Magazine. Yes, that's correct. Great. And there's going to be a whole little profile on you. Yes. Very neat. Yeah, Before very cool. It. Very cool, yeah. Lehigh Valley Style is a great magazine. It really is. Yeah. It's beautiful. Lovely photography. 
Now I see you cut that up into chunks. Why did you do that? Just for presentation. Just for presentation? Yeah. And now is this a typical entree that you would make at the restaurant? Certainly in the fall. I can tell that you really like to keep with the seasonality of, of your menus. We do, we do. You know, and of course our gardens help us with that. Plus, Definitely. Uh, you know, we have, uh, we have help with our gardens. We, we use a young man by the name of Tim Delaney with Full Circle Veggies. He's a wonderful organic farmer. He helps us with that. So we're just going to get a nice sear on the outside of that? We are. We're going to hit it with a little white wine, okay. a little butter, and uh, pop it in the oven for just a couple minutes while our sauce is cooking down. Call now for these events and more at 215-568-2400 or shop 24-7 at wanatix.com. Wanamaker Entertainment Group, we are the guy. Call now for these events and more at 215-568-2400 or shop 24-7 at wanatix.com. Wanamaker Entertainment Group, we are the guy. Now we're just gonna turn the fish. Nice little color on there. It smells uh, great too. I like right. Chilean sea bass. So mellow and buttery. It is very buttery, and that's why it goes well with this cabbage and cream that we're going to be doing. So, we're just going to hit a little white wine. Put it in the oven for a couple minutes. You just want to get that barely cooked through, just right? Barely cooked through. It's going to be done in no time. Would you like me to grab the vegetables? Yes, please. All Thank right. you. There you go. All right. Just going to put a fast saute on that. We're going to hit it with some butter, cream, salt, pepper, let it reduce, and it just goes right over the fish. Beautiful. There we go. That's enough for one fish. We have a really nice restaurant scene here in Bethlehem, don't we? We do, and it's growing all the time, which is nice. It is. It's very nice. Uh, you see it's all it's kinds of different ethnicities and right, different cuisines. Right, much more, many more choices now than yes. you did 10 years ago. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and, and you know, it's good for everyone. It brings people downtown to Bethlehem. Bethlehem's a wonderful city. It really is. Yeah, we, we love it. You know. I never have a problem with a little cream and butter. Well, uh, you know, you don't need it every day, so. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Everything in moderation. A little bit of 40%. Nice. We'll let that reduce down a little bit. We're going to let it reduce. I guess That's the cabbage, it. the vegetables don't really give off a whole lot of water because you blanch them first. Right, right. Very Softens smart. Softens them up so you don't mm -hmm. have to worry about cooking them too long in the cream. Yeah. Right. What do we have here? Well, these would be our potatoes. Now, is it easier to work with these cold? Then it you, would be you, straight you, do, out. you do want them chilled as mm -hmm. best as possible before you put them in the hot pan. Good to know. Because they they will fall apart on you. So they should take a little bit of time after they poach to sort of set up. Right. That's why I, I definitely recommend doing it a day ahead of time if you can. Great. It's easier on you and you'll you guarantee that Everybody it wins. Work. Everyone wins, <laughs> right. So we're gonna saute these up. Are we gonna use a little more butter or oil this time? Well actually, you know, you could use the clarified butter that's working there, mm -hmm. adding a little bit of uh, fresh thyme to add some flavor to it, which we have. There we have some fresh thyme from the garden. Very nice. Now, do you grow different varieties of thyme or different varieties of herbs, like a lemon thyme? Oh, yes, we have. We have sweet basil, lemon basil, mm -hmm. you know, all, all different types of basil. I grow lemon lemongrass. Nice. I have the same same lemongrass plant from four years ago. I keep... Comes back every year? Well, no. You, you have to winter it over. What <laughs> oh, I do is... Okay. Lemongrass is a lot like a hosta plant, and you can quarter it mm -hmm. and put it in different pots and really? generate another plant. So each year I put some in the ground and then the, the smaller pots I save for the following year and then put that in the ground. Very nice. Yeah. We also have five, five fig trees. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fig trees. Love figs. Especially this time of year. I guess they're sort of coming to the end of the season. Wow, so you can barely even discern what's the potato and what's the fig. Exactly. Now. It's sort of like a bit of a croquette. You yeah. Know? So. That's a good way to look at it. All right. So we just do two for now. That'll okay. be enough. What if you stuck that in a deep fryer? What would happen? I don't know. <laughs> I think there's too much moisture and it'll probably blow up. Okay. So we're gonna pull the fish out now. Mm, you can really smell that fresh thyme mm -hmm. too. Our fish is done. And the lines reduce down a good bit. So you're just going to sear these on both ends, or mm -hmm. you don't really get around the sides? You can do that as well. Get them all browned up nicely. Mm -hmm. 
See that? Beautiful. Mm, I can smell that garlic and those caramelized onions. Ooh. Now what's what's nice is definitely it's not your it's not your grandmother's sauteed <laughs> potatoes and onions. Not at all. <laughs> My grandmother definitely never had one of those contraptions in her house. <laughs> Nor did mine. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if, if I didn't have one of those, could I get the same effect maybe from a mandolin, or? I think, unfortunately, with the mandolin, you're going to end up with a lot of small pieces. Right. And I think you'd have a lot of difficulty trying to roll yeah. that. Yeah, so you'd yeah. have to just get a really, really big potato if you went that route. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, you would. Yes, you would. All right. There we go. All I can't right. can't wait to try that. can't wait to try all of this. Have a spoon? Sure do. I guess you need something smaller than this. That's Does that right. work? That's beautiful. Great. That'll be make it nice and crispy. Mm. Definitely a lot of flavor going on there. And this is just going to brighten everything up. Look right. That color. I love the pop of orange from the carrots. Just a touch of cream. It's going to go really well with that mm. buttery chili and sea bass. Yum. A little garnish on there, and there you go. Some microgreens. Yeah, always micro make green. things look pretty. Which I don't know. No. <laughs> Maybe next go. year. Maybe next year. There you go. That's Gorgeous. Right. I'm going to set this over here. Call now for these events and more at 215. 568-2400 or shop 24-7 at wanatix.com. Wanamaker Entertainment Group, we are the guy. Call now for these events and more at 215-568-2400 or shop 24-7 at wanatix.com. Wanamaker Entertainment Group, we are the guy. Now, if we could just move to the uh, appetizer quickly. What we're going to do is make a batter with uh, sweet rice flour, okay. all-purpose flour, cornstarch, a little salt, and some sparkling water, about four cups. This is almost like a tempura batter? It's exactly, mm -hmm. except it's super light, super crispy. Yeah. It's not, uh, I think. You can tell with the cornstarch and that sweet rice flour. Right. Crispy, crispy, crispy. Right, so about four cups. Okay. You counting? Are you? No. <laughs> and all we need is our Butternut squash, which we've cubed, one inch cubes, tossed with a little bit of clarified butter, salt, pepper, baked it in the oven 375, 22 to 25 minutes. So already totally cooked through. Through, but with some give. I mean, there's a little bit of a, you don't want to cook it all the way through, it'll be mushy. This is just straight up rice flour, sweet rice flour. Now, how sweet is it? is it? It's not really sweet. Well, they call it sweet because of the type of rice that it comes mm -hmm. from and it has a, a higher gluten. It's stickier. So if right. you want to make a batter right, so if you want to make a nice, clingy batter, you want to use your sweet rice. That's why we use a combination there. So carefully drop it in your fryer, 350 degrees. So we're just going to get a nice crispy crust little, on this. A little tempura on there, all right. Mm. I love anything fried. It's up there with butter and cream. Well, in moderation, right? <laughs> exactly. But we've got our vegetables here. We do, which think, we grow fresh, right? Yeah, they balance out. All right, there we go. Nice and crispy. Gorgeous. You see, they're just nice little... Oh, I can hear them. All right, they're crispy. Yeah. Little, little tots, we could call them. Yeah. Butternut squash tots. Or nuggets. Right. Butter nuggets. Yeah. So. Now, do you have any kind of a sauce that goes with these? We do. We do a sage-infused honey. Mm, is that what I saw over here? That is it. And, you know. Sage is such a quintessential fall flavor, mm, too. Absolutely got to have it. And we I see we've got some pickled chilies back here. We do. We're also going to put a grating of uh, Parmesan Reggiano on mm. there. That never hurts anything. No. And then fresh pickled Fresno chilies. Super easy to make, and you can find out how to make these and the honey right, right in Lehigh Valley Style magazine. Lehigh Valley Style magazine, there you go. Lovely. All right, Chef, I'm so excited to taste, and we're joined again with Pam Deller. She's the publisher of Lehigh Valley Style magazine, and we've also got our buddy Paul Conaway here from Wanamaker Entertainment Group. 
You guys ready to dig in or what? We are so ready Good. to dig in. Grab a fork. Let's do it. Paul? Thank you. I'm going for the sea bass. Oh, I'm going right for the potato. All right. So much work went into this. Yeah, get in, Paul. Mm. Come on, chef. Steve, that's delicious. You like it? It's unbelievable. Love it. Try the potato? Oh. I'm gonna try it. The flavor in that is crazy good. It is. Wow, that's awesome. I'm gonna try the butternut squash, too. It's still pretty hot, right out of the fryer. It is. Mm. I've been following Steve uh, for 15 years now, uh, all over the place. I've been watching you. <laughs> and I know the readers of Lehigh Valley Style love you, too, because several times you've been named favorite chef in our magazine, so we're really appreciative that you're sharing these recipes, not only in the pages of Lehigh Valley Style in October, but also at, in the chef's kitchen. Thank you, Steve. No, appreciate you're welcome. That. Thank you. We appreciate it. Very good. It was such a pleasure to have all of you here today. Steve, Paul, Pam, thank you so much for thank being you. with us. Thank you. Our pleasure. Great. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Look forward Paul. to seeing your spread in the Paul. October issue. Thank you. Thank Great. you very much. Those six seats? You have them? That's what I want. Great. Hey, I got the club box seats with VIP parking. Impossible, right? I know a guy. Wow, these are great. How'd you swing these? I know a guy. Check it out, he gets me everything from Broadway shows, sold out concerts, even reservations to Joe's favorite restaurant. The guy. To the guy. Want to make your entertainment group? We are the guy. Call 215-568-2400. Call today. We are never sold out.